Hi, I'm Gloria Pearson, and this video is on how to forgive somebody that hurt you. Stay tuned, and I also ask you if you enjoy my videos, please hit the subscribe button. I post weekly videos that will uplift you, motivate you, and inspire you. So stay tuned. Hi, this video is on how to forgive somebody that hurt you. Woo, that's a tall order, isn't it? But we're ending a year now, and you know what? Sometimes it's better to just leave some baggage in the year so you could start the new year fresh. It's kind of like cleaning out your closet. Things you don't need, you get rid of. And it's the same with somebody that hurts you. If you have anger, resentment towards them, that's baggage that is hurting your energy, and it will absolutely block you from manifesting what it is you want in your life in this new year. I want to ask you this question. Would you rather be right or would you rather be happy? Now you could be right with resentment and hurt and anger, but do you think you're going to be able to change that person that hurt you? Not a shot. But it will prevent you from being happy. And I don't think you want that. Now, I also want to say, it doesn't mean you have to like this person. It doesn't mean you condone what they did to hurt you. This means you're just raising yourself up to a new spiritual level, letting go of that baggage, and moving on so new things could come into your life. And even if they hurt you, you know what? They might have been your greatest spiritual teacher. You can't see that now, but maybe five years from now, there was a lesson you had to learn. But I want you to think of this. If there's that anger or resentment, it is like chains of steel. You are chained to that person and there's an energy chain to them, a dark energy. You don't want that. You've got to learn to cut that and then you move on. So we're going to do a little um, tool that I call a forgiveness tool. And this is wonderful to do now at the end of the year. Go in the year fresh. So I want you to close your eyes and you could silently repeat or out loud would be great. Repeat after me. And this is a forgiveness tool. Take a deep breath. I fully and freely forgive and put the name in. I fully and freely forgive. I let them go. It is finished forever. I am free and they are free. I wish them well. And so it is. Now I want you to envision the cord the steel cord that is between the two of you. And visualize a big scissor and you're cutting that cord. Cut it. And so it is. Now you could repeat this more than once if you feel you have to, but you really don't have to. Once is enough. Do it with sincerity. If your intention is there, that is the beginning of forgiveness. Intention is the beginning and your intention was there if you just repeated this after me. Now you're going to think of them again and the hurt, resentment, grudges are going to come up. But don't engage them. The minute they come into your mind think, I bless them, I wish them well. I bless them, I wish them well. And if you do this, the anger, resentment will go away. You'll think of them less and less often and you're freeing up this energy to come into your life. Now what I call is the litmus test. In the future, you know you're forgiven. If you hear something nice or good happen to them and you're okay with it. So try this, repeat this, watch it again, do it if you didn't get it the first time because it works. Again, if you enjoy my videos I post weekly, please hit that subscribe button and I'm sending you lots of love and light this week, forgive. Don't bring it into the new year.